All right. So let's talk about uh, core strength, neutral spine, and your breathing technique again. We're going to apply that to leg circles. So leg circles, we're going for your inner thigh work and your abdominal work. All come together to support the spine. So let's talk about leg circles. So it's very important to keep the leg turned out, keep the leg straight but with a strong thigh muscle. That way you can get your groin work here, which gets your inner thigh work. So you don't want to turn the leg in, you don't want to bend the leg, because then your thigh muscle here is a prime mover and it's too strong, it'll take over and it'll stop your inner thigh from working. So you want to keep the leg turned out. You want to keep the leg straight. So you want to get the inner thigh work. So again, your breathing technique, holding the stomach in. You're breathing in out of the lungs so we can challenge your abs. Your lower back is relaxed. You don't want to push it into the floor. You want to relax the lower back. So we keep our neutral spine, stomach in, arms to the side. Let's keep your shoulders down so we can keep the tension out of the neck. And we'll go for your leg circle. So you're breathing, you're just naturally breathing, circling the leg. Keeping those hips still on the floor so we can get your groin and inner thigh work. Circling that leg. Then you can go back the other way. And then once you've earned the strength doing your leg circles, then you can do leg lowers. Still keeping the leg turned out. Still keeping the leg straight. Get that groin, inner thigh work. Still holding that stomach in. Still breathing in and out of those lungs. Do your leg lows. As you get stronger, we can change the breathing and you can start to breathe in to lower the leg. And breathing out to bring the leg back up. That's, that gives you more of an abdominal challenge because it's harder to breathe in and keep the stomach in as you're breathing in. And breathing out. So the easier version will be breathing out to lower that leg. Breathing in to bring the leg back up. Harder version, keeping the stomach in. Breathing in to lower the leg. Breathing out to lift the leg back up. And then finally, to progress that even further, as you earn the strength in those two exercises, then you can take your legs slightly out to the side and back. You want to keep those hips still. You don't want the hips to move with you. You want to keep the hips still. That way, when the hips are still, and you're moving your legs side to side like that, usually breathing out Take the leg to the side, breathing in to go back. Although you can change the breathing technique there as well. Breathing in, breathing out. You want to keep those hips still so we can still isolate and get your thigh, inner thigh work. Still get the groin work. Always holding that stomach in. Always breathing in and out of those lungs. So that is your leg circle. Leg circles are also very good uh, to rehabilitate knees and ankles. So not only does inner thigh work apply to your core strength, it also applies to rehabilitating your knees whether it's an impact injury or whether it's through the aging process or whether you have poor posture and it's uh, recruiting bad muscle mechanics with your knee. Either way inner thigh work combined with glute work which I'll show you soon it's very good also for the knees very good for the ankles with ankles too you can apply calf work so very good for core also very good for knees very good for ankles your leg circles <laughs>